Okay, back again. If I keep doing this long enough, I might get to be good at it. So, I've had some comments, concerns, and questions about the tool, and I wanted to address them uh, so that everyone could have a custom tool made for their specific needs so that it'll work to the best of its ability for you. Some of the concerns I had were the hopping foot. Now, my hopping foot is a half an inch. Not sure if it's good enough for you to see, but my hopping foot is a half an inch and the needle falls directly in the center so that when I'm quilting with my hopping foot on the edge of the tool like I designed it for, I get a pretty accurate quarter of an inch. Some of you have indicated that the needle of your machine doesn't necessarily fall directly in the center of your hopping foot. And those with 9 16 inch feet are concerned that the foot is bigger, you're not getting a quarter of an inch. Well, if your needle is in the center, you're only off like a 32nd of an inch, which I don't believe is going to be too much of a problem in an everyday ordinary binding. If you're show quilting and you're wanting more accuracy, that might be a problem. Otherwise, I don't think you have to be concerned. Some of you also mentioned that you like to sew a 3 8 of an inch seam when you're doing flannel bindings. And some of you also wanted an eighth of an inch so that you could use the ruler edge. Um, you could use the line on the edge of your seam to be able to stitch in the ditch. Well, I have a solution, or what I believe to be a solution for you, because when talking with the, uh, the company about cutting rulers, scribing was mentioned. I didn't think it was going to be necessary because having scribed lines put in the ruler greatly reduces the cost of the ruler. And my thought was that I wanted to keep this ruler as affordable as possible for you. So I think I have an easy solution to all your questions and how you can custom this ruler to fit your specific needs and that way everybody has the perfect tool to work with. So I will have to come back in the next part because I'm going downstairs now and I'll do that part of the demo for you so you'll know how to custom